Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at my time at Sandrock. This is the sequel to my time at Porsche and for those that don't know what the game is, it's a slice of life simulation game wherein you do a lot of farming, crafting, building, a lot of socializing. I think that's actually one of the main focuses of the game and then with Sandrock they've introduced a whole lot of new mini games a lot of new combat activities and stuff like that it's a big game there's a lot going on here but for this video character creation I had a quick peek at it I'm pretty impressed already they seem to have improved in many ways upon what was available in Porsche and I'm excited to jump in and check it all out so we're gonna start with mail we're gonna look at the mail voices over here then we look at the mail customization then we're going to jump into female, have a look at those voices and customization, and see where it takes us. That is the plan. So, Max, let's get started on your voice. Now, needless to say, you can actually pick the female voice on the male character, or you can pick no voice at all. Uh, these are the female voices, those are the male voices. They don't really give you much to go on. Uh, I, I, I want to say, based on what we're he hearing here, uh, you can't really tell, you know? So if your character actually talks in-game and this is the preview they give you, it's going to be a little difficult, you know, to pick and choose the voice that's right for you. But again, based on this, I assume your character doesn't actually have any spoken lines. I know with my time at Porsche, the voice acting for the main character came way later in early access, so maybe that's the case here as well. I don't know. We look at the female voices when we do the female character. That's the way we're going to go about it. So, let's jump into the customization. Let's have a peek. Skin. Skin tone. What is a secondary skin color? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, I didn't know this was actually how you do the- like, this is crazy. You can actually do anything with the skin color, you can- you've got all- you've got all of it here. You've got all of it. Can we just go full blue? Yeah, we- okay. I mean, we can just go full blue if we'd like to. That's just something we can do. Uh, yeah, you can make Shrek if you'd like. <laughs> what? Well, okay. So, then I'm not gonna click on every single one of these. What I will do is, I'll just go back and I'll check the ones that they recommend here. And then I will also look what we're actually getting with main color and what we're getting with secondary color. So main color, let's see. If we make this like a full blue, then as you can see over here, we have a combination between these two. It's sort of like they layered on top of each other. So if we just go this one full blue as well, we should have like the deepest, richest blue available to us. And that is indeed it. Yeah. Okay. Can we zoom in? That's really blue. Also, I just want to point out that the detail on this model is actually fantastic. Phenomenal. It's like you're looking at a Pixar movie character or something. Okay, okay, not quite there, but like close enough, right? It's crisp. It's crisp. Okay, listen, I have to get rid of the blue skin. It's distracting me. <laughs> please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just get rid of it. So, because of our discovery here that you can basically do what you want with the color, I can't really cover everything because you have every color at your disposal. Every color under the sun, every color on the rainbow, whatever you want to call it, they're all here. You can do it. Can you make like the pictures of black? It looks like you should be able to, but... Oh yeah, you can. No, that's as far as it goes. I mean, that's sort of understandable, I'd say. It's just, I'm doing this for science, guys. I'm doing it so you don't have to. What does red look like? I imagine that if you start randomizing, you're going to get some really interesting skin colors. Yeah, I mean, why not? Perhaps you can pretend that's just a really heavy tan. But yeah, I'm going to say rather go with the suggested ones if you want to make a character that looks like an actual human being. <laughs> so so um, even, even the darkest one here actually looks really nice. It's a good skin color. All right, face shape. So you've got three templates to choose from here. And interestingly enough, they are very different so like the, the way it works is you pick your template here and you get to customize it as well that's what makes this a little bit more impactful so you pick this guy then you get to still customize the bits and pieces of his body and i, I really like the way that they've done this because 
they give you basically the the longer skinnier face that you can see here you know and it's just like a it's a it's an acceptable cartoony look you know it doesn't look super weird or anything i mean it looks a little weird but like it's it's sort of cartoony you know and then they give you the slightly rounder face with like the chubby cheeks over here that you can see and 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 with this one once again you can sort of modify the way you want it to look and i like this about the customization uh, i think that you know the 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 sort of the contrast between something like this and then the games that give you all the control that allow you to like just sort of flip it on its head entirely and 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 mess things up is that in this it's pretty hard to make your character look atrocious hideous you know <laughs> like a malformed beast you know you're gonna get something here that looks like it sort of fits into the world and i i i can sort of get behind that and i can appreciate it and what I also like here is you can sort of decide that you want the bigger face with all the features maxed. Then you can just switch the template and you can see that applied to the other templates. It's cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I like it. And, and it, it, it definitely affects the way the character looks, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's impactful. And, and I mean, we're just getting started here, right? We're just getting started here. Here. Always my favorite part. I think I say this every single time, and can I just say, because I had a quick peek at how this worked, and I actually looked at the demos, hair options, which were very limited compared to this, but they had the same system in place. I love this modular approach. So this is the first time I see this in a character creator, and I've done a lot of character creation videos, okay? But this is the first time I see this specific system where they actually give you different parts that you can choose between right so first you choose the hairstyle and that's like the base right you pick the one you want there's some nice hair physics as well got some jiggle physics on the hair mm, very nice you pick the base right so let's just pick this one it's fine this is a good one to start on then you get to pick the bangs for that base and it completely changes the style and the nice thing is that there are so many different combinations here just think about it just think about it you know so so now you you can you can do the bangs right so so you want to you want to have like this this handsome little lick at the front here then you can add a ponytail to it and you can do anything you want with that you know you can go full mulan on this pigtails where are they no problem got you covered the buns yeah man chun li would be proud it's perfect it's great I love the system and I, I would love to see more games adopt this and then like you decide okay you know I want the pigtails and and I want these bangs but I want a different style with that and you can just do that and it works like wow well done my time at Sandrock artists like they honestly outdid themselves I mean some of it looks a little strange like this for instance this looks a little weird and you see you've got a limited choice on the bangs here uh, so we're going to go through all of them and just check quickly if any others. It seems like it's just that short one that's limited. This one actually has an extra one. Where's the extra one? It's this. Oh, yeah, a little tuft at the front there. So you basically get to do what you want here. And let me tell you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough to make something, you know, sort of similar to what someone else is making. You're not going to have too many people looking the same in this. I just don't think that there'll be that many conflicting styles or anything like that. You're going to have something unique because there are so many different combinations and choices and stuff here. I don't know where I would fall. Like, I, there's a lot of nice choices here. I, I personally like the waves in this hair. And then, like, on the bang side of things, like, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool as well. I, I think that this one sort of suits him as well. And, I mean, this is probably... This seems like it was made for that style. But this one's kind of nice. And then I like... I like the long ponytail. Yeah, but the man bun is cool too. Anyway, it's a nice system. It's a nice system. Then on top of that, can I show you? Can I show you what impresses me even more? Oops. <laughs> oh no, dude! Look at this. It is so well done. I'm sorry. Like you know, some people like geek out about like fantastic graphics. Other people geek out about cool armor and weapons in video games. Me, this guy. I geek out about fantastic looking hair in character creation systems. Like, look at this. Isn't that cool? It's just so well done how it grows. 
and each of these styles is gonna have a different way that it grows i mean some of them might not yeah i was about to say some of them might not allow it because this one it wouldn't make sense if it grew right but this one this should have it right yeah look at that hell yes man hell yes that is so cool this is my manoroth horns yeah <laughs> yeah man yeah oh wow yeah, we've got the length max, so we can just scroll through them quickly and see what they look like. I like it so much. It's such a great system. Uh, let's take this one again. Hair length. Yeah, all the way. Uh, let's put those bangs back on there. Cool. Uh, actually, you know what? The bangs look a little weird when you make them that long. Uh, then you got the colors. And much like the skin color, you get to do whatever the hell you want with it. And you can do it to great effect. You know? You have so many different choices here. I'm just going to go through these because it gives you a good idea of how the colors interact with the hair. Uh, and it's kind of nice because you can sort of pick one that you like and then you can mess around with the, the hue and the saturation to sort of pick something that, that sticks with that idea and that sort of tone, but, but, but strays a little away from it in terms of uh, how impactful it is, you know, how visually stunning it is. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. No, I think it's a fantastic system. So cool. So, 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 so cool. Man, the blondes and the yellows. I just think that with most of this, they've nailed down this cartoony style so well. They took what they had in Porsche and they honed it. They didn't try and like, you know, pioneer, try and create something brand new. No, they just took what they already had. They worked on it and they made it that much better. So let's pick an interesting color. Let's take, I like, I like this. Let's increase the saturation a little bit on there. Brightness a little bit. That's kind of cool. There we go. So yeah, a lot of choices, a lot of choices, and then there's a highlight as well. Uh, let's let's give that a try. Saturation, brightness. Uh, let's do. How about we we'll, let's make it like a yellow, and then let's make this like a black. Okay. There, that's black, right? And then let's check check what this looks like. Man, <laughs> I could spend all night just doing the hair. Now you can see sort of where the highlights are. It seems like the highlight is pretty, let's say, dominant or overpowering in terms of how it presents itself. Uh, keep that in mind when you're making the hair. Because, like, it doesn't matter where you really put it. It is going to, like, take over the style. So if we make, like, a white highlight. Ooh, that is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. However, obviously what you can do is you can you can sort of set the brightness, right? And And you can... Treat that as you would an opacity, uh, and you can sort of modify the amount that you get in there. I mean, look at that. Yeah, I'm about to hit the club, man. That's kind of sick. <laughs> I, I dig it. So, yeah, big thumbs up on the on the hair options there. Eyebrows. Get to change the shape. Uh, that's more of a slant than a shape, to be honest, but okay. Thickness. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Height. And length. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to randomize with this. I think it's going to be great. Eyes. Hell yes. Hell yes, dude. They actually give you some interesting stuff. It's a heart. Check it out. You know, games shouldn't take themselves too seriously. Like, with this, they already let you change your skin color to whatever the hell you want. So why would they... Why would they sort of constrain you when it comes to like the eye choices why would they why would they say okay this is where we draw the line that's not where they draw the line man it's not where they draw the line nope okay so you get to change the shape uh, that slants it in that slants it well basically slants it down slants it up that's kind of nice eye height uh, and you guys saw the eye size it sort of just gives us a little bit more to work with there eye distance rotation eye width pupil size Always nice to have nice and big so you can see that cool little... Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh no, dude. Pupil height. You can have your character perpetually looking down. Okay, man. Okay. Yeah, that's a little freaky. Uh, eye color. Let's do it. So. Let's go for something striking. I, d I don't know what. I don't know what. Put the brightness up. Yeah, yellow. You know, uh, pink, pink. Pupil color. 
Wow. That is crazy. Okay, can we have white? Uh, the white isn't all that white. So if we like go black on white, let's do black and white. Eh. Yeah, I mean, okay. Pupil color. Also, also black. What is this? Let's see. Oh, no, wait, wait we, did the we did the pupil already. Hold on. I wanted to do highlight color. There we go. There's how you get black. Okay. Much better. Now we can go pink. Black and pink, baby. That's the way. That's a hell yes, dude. Maybe the star? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The friendliest, most kawaii looking demon you've ever seen. <laughs> this guy. Wow. Yeah, okay. Once again, impressed. Once again. Yes. I was about to say, don't give me a full list of ear options, please. That would be a little bit much. Nose. Oh. Interesting. Now, you want to keep in mind, you have all these options, and all of them will work differently on the different faces, huh? Just know that. Know that you might have the chance to create something completely different if you pick one of the other templates. I took the default template, but there are others. This is not bad. It's a lot of options. Mouth. I was about to say, like, the lips are a little thin. But I think that's just the way that the lips look in this game. If I could put some lipstick on. What? I did not expect facial hair. Okay, it might have been better if I didn't expect the face. If I just stuck with that. Because, like, this is not what I... <laughs> Jeez, man. Is that it? These are the only ones? These are the only two choices? But, I mean, now we have to take it. Well, of course. I mean, yeah. So, let's put the highlight on pink. And then we put the, the, the primary color on black like we did with the hair. There we go. <laughs> Make it a bit longer. Make it a bit longer again. There we go. I, it is just so weird that these are the two that they give you. Like, of all the facial hair in the world, these are the two that they give you. Strange choice. Tattoos. Let's check it out. Nice. Games like this usually get tattoos right. And, yeah, this seems to be no exception. It's like a Reddit upvote, downvote right there. Scars? Okay, okay, okay. And you get to change the color, by the way, so you can actually make it a proper scar if you'd like. Not bad, dude. Not bad. You can make Uzumaki Naruto. Yeah. You could probably... Uh, is there Harry Potter? No, I was going to say you could probably make the boy who lived. Cute, man. I dig it. Let's give him the slash across the nose. Let's make it a little darker because I feel like you'd rather want the scar looking like that. And then let's rather make it pink because, <laughs> you know. Nice. Uh, not a huge amount of stuff. Would be cool if they gave you more stuff in-game. I'll just say that. Eyeshadow. Let's make it a little bit darker. Uh, so let's go black. Wait, what is the difference here? So, it's the highlight. Let's make the highlight pink. There you go. Okay. It's the one side black, the other side pink. One side black, other side pink. Gives you a good idea of how it looks, where you can change the colors and stuff like that. Cool. Cool. It's not the most attractive makeup I've ever seen. I don't know if the makeup artist in Sandrock is just not all that, but, like, it doesn't really appeal to me. And, and again, you can sort of use your imagination there. Uh, once we start randomizing, you'll probably see different options and what you can do with it. Blush. Let's have a look. Uh, we need something slightly brighter than that, so we'll go pink. And we'll go yellow. I know, I know. It's going to look terrible. <laughs> it's really going to look terrible. Oh my god. Pink and yellow. Man. Oh yeah. Okay, of course. That's for if you want to make a Lala fell in this game. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, because why not? Because why not have some swirls on your cheeks? Yeah, there you go. That's it. Damn. That's fun. That's really cool. So, you don't get to change any body options in this. It's 
what I expected. You didn't get to do that in Porsche either. You obviously have the skin, but like your body, it stays the same. It's uh, it's an indie game, you know, and, and I think they want the clothes and all the style stuff that they put in the game to, to be a little bit easier to do. Uh, and it also gives you just sort of, uh, again, an adherence to a certain look and feel. And I think that's what they were going for here. Although they do, I, I say, they sort of throw that out the window when they allow you to make your skin color anything you want. But that's it for mail. Let's have a look at some randomization options. This is always fun. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I want to see if they actually let you just go anywhere with the skin colors. I'm about to be disappointed a little bit here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the skin colors are not going anywhere on the spectrum. These skin colors are these skin colors, right? So it, it, that's a little sad for the randomize. Like if, if I had to ever like send a petition in to the devs of this game, I'd say let it, let it go full random, please. Please go full random, you know? But but no, overall, this is kind of fantastic. Like, like really? Uh, they, they, they give you more than enough. Like, look at the eyes. What the hell? What are they doing here? It's this one. That's crazy. Look at that. Ha! Huh. Got the Aurora Borealis brewing in the eyes. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, okay. Well, I could do this all night. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why not? Why the heck not? Okay. So, we're gonna jump into female now. Let's do it. There she is. Lucy. Is it Max and Lucy? It's Max and Lucy. You can change your name, obviously. I mentioned this before. Okay. Female voices. The body shape, you can see it is pretty similar, uh, but it does change a little bit, you know? Slightly different cut t-shirt there. Slightly different pants there. Uh, this is more, more feminine, you know, overall. Let's have a look at the voices. Have a listen to the voices. Yeah, so like, I mean, much as we saw with the male voices, there's just not much going on there. I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever. Skin color. So I'm going to treat this as if it is your first time watching. I'm going to treat this as if you didn't watch the male one because you could have used the timestamps to skip here. So hey, welcome to the customization. I'm going to show you what's going on here and I'm going to go through all the options. I'm not going to skim over it or anything like that. Uh, we're going to look at the skin tones that they give us as recommendations because these are the ones that they want you to pick uh, for real. They don't actually want you to click here. And they definitely don't want you to pull the slider over to green. And I think the last thing in the world that they want you to do is max the saturation as well. Because that would essentially turn you into Shrek. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, they don't want you to do that. That's why they suggest those skin tones to you. Well, actually, this could be more Shrekish because you could actually take this, then bring this over here, then bring this over here. And then we Shrek. I think I might have the skin tone a little off, but you get what I'm saying. So, for the skin colors, in my time at Sandrock, you can do anything. You can go anywhere, and you can actually get pretty creative because there's a two-tone system, as you can see. Where, like, you can have this one yellow, and then you can go with this one pink, and you can make something truly hideous. You know? It's like a failed experiment at a makeup lab. <laughs> that's, that's what you've got here. Uh, and and, and it's, it's great because, again, it allows for, like, massive customization, massive creativity. But, uh, you know, I understand why they would want to limit you uh, in, in some or, or, or anyways or whatever. Problem is, like, you can't really... It, it, it's kind of difficult. You can't really skip between them so easily because if, you, if you're looking at the one and you pick, like, the lighter color over here or whatever, like the white... Then you then you change the other one and and your issue then is that like you are Only changing half of it. It's like the highlight or the or the low light or whatever you want to call it the base color uh, And then and then you can't really like quickly skip through all the colors because they'll never give you a good perfect look at that color So if I like pick basically the the green here 
and I and I maximize the I take green and I maximize the saturation and the brightness it's still you can see that white highlight there and and then you still have to go over here and change that as well well okay in this case it was the white main color uh, so you know it takes a bit longer to, to check all the colors out but you can eventually look at all of them that said you're gonna have to use your imagination a little bit on this one you can do anything you can you can do anything you can pick any color uh, you can basically just go for it and it's good it's good it's it's good they they should allow it it's it's cool it's it's not like an mmo or whatever where you're going to be seeing a bunch of characters out there who could be eyesores and they don't have to protect their image in any way <laughs> they they don't care what you do with your character uh, so for the purposes of the video i'm going to take like you know uh, one of these skin colors over here but just know that you can do basically anything you want with it face shapes i'm curious about these let's see nice interesting okay so uh, on the male side in case you didn't watch it they had a regular face they had a sharp face and they had a round face in this one they have two round faces no sharp face curious but they have this like uber anime one with the massive eyes anyway you get to customize the uh the, the, the sliders here and this it actually honestly it affects the character quite a lot you've got quite a lot here that 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 actually changes uh, you can make this into the sharp face i suppose if, if you do that check it basically it basically does it for you but like what you can do is you can change the sliders then you can skip through the faces and and then they'll change along with it and you can get a different look at how they would look with those sliders in that in those positions in that way it's cool. I'm going to take this face because these eyes are just too big to pass up on. Yeah. No, these options are great. I like it a lot. Uh, we're going to take the roundness down a little bit. And I think that we'll sort of give the chin a little more power, you know? A little bit more power. There we go. There we go. That's nice. That's a nice face. But the templates on the face, these three that you choose from here, probably the most impactful choice you can make for your character on the whole. So pay attention to which one you pick there. It is important. Actually, I take that back. The most impactful choice you can make is probably the hair. Now, the hair on the females is the same as the hair on the males. Uh, they give you all the same options. I want to say there might be one. No, there it is. Okay. I want to say there might be one that's not, but like they've just shuffled it around a bit. It's basically all the same stuff. And they, they just sort of moved it around to sort of, I guess, suggest uh, some of them above others. I don't know. I, I like that. I like that they treated all the hairstyles as unisex because, let's be real, they are. <laughs> there's, there's no such thing as an, as an actual male hairstyle and a female hairstyle. They are just hairstyles. They are just styles of your hair. I mentioned, and I'll mention it again, I f truly like this system. I feel that this is one of the best hairstyle systems in the game. And I mean like in the game in scene, not in this game. It's one of the best that's out there for certain reasons. Those reasons are it's got a modular approach to it. And it allows you to customize your hair uh, in, in bits and pieces. And I love it. I think it's just such a unique way of doing things. So basically you get to pick your style and that's your base. Then you get to pick your bangs and that's an extension at the front. You, you get to sort of change what that looks like. It adds on to what you had. So you like these ones? Cool, you stick with that. Then you get to pick a ponytail. And you get to basically do anything. Any number of combinations. Whatever your heart desires. It's great. It's great. Now there are some limitations, like for instance, this short one can't put bangs on. Uh, but it makes up for it by having these sliders. The sliders work on all the styles, by the way. Uh, well, on most of them. So you, you get to change your hair length. You get to change the ponytail length, and that affects everything. Check it out. It's really cool. It's really cool. It's basically the epitome of simple yet satisfying in character creation. It's a system that is is basically, at its core, very straightforward, very simplistic, but it actually affects the outcome quite drastically. It's a, it's a good idea. And I'm surprised that I have not seen this before. I know that there are probably games out there with systems like this. But I have not uh, come across them yet. I know I know that you guys, a lot of you guys that watch these videos are also well versed in character creation. So you've probably seen them. You can maybe tell me what they are. I'd love to hear it. Leave a comment. Let me know. 
uh, because I'd like to check those out. I'd like to see more of this modular style of 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 character creation and 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 hair selection. Uh, so let's pick something here. Again, you can pick anything. You can pick it. You can jiggle it, and then you can and you can sort of you know boom boom boom. This one has bangs hair and ponytail. Look at that, bangs hair and ponytail. Boom boom and boom all longest. Let's make them all on the shortest. And let's look at a few of these. That looks different. Looks completely different. Man, I like it. I like it a lot. I really do. Let's take... I like this one. Let's take this one. I also like that. Ah, uh, to be honest, like, all of these are really nice. Ah, uh, that one works too. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. This is nice. And then we'll ch change the lengths once we get everything in. I'm taking the ponytail. Dude, that ponytail. Wow. That's like a shampoo advert stream right there. It's perfect. It's perfect. So, length... Uh, we're not going to cover the face with the bangs. It's not necessary. But the ponytail can definitely go longer. Wow, dude. You are you are definitely losing out if you don't max this ponytail's length. That's amazing. And then we'll make the bobbles short. That's kind of nice. There we go. Okay. Then hair colors. Much like the skin color. Much like the skin color. You can can go anywhere with this. Okay. So you can do whatever you want. I feel like for the, for the female we're going to go with like a yellow color. Let's do like a... I, I wanted to go for like a blonde, but like obviously as you can see, I've, I've overshot that a little bit. How about a frosty blue, actually? Hold on. That is really nice. Hold on, wait. Let's go for like this. That is so cool. Yeah. So your, your highlights... And your base color, yeah, man, yeah, 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 very nice. That is nice, that is, that is something, you know, that's something. A frosty blue, dude, a frosty blue. Check it out, let's go for a darker on that one. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just looks a little weird. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I'm like really, I'm desperately trying to make this work. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. There's a bunch of people watching. I gotta do this. Oh, this is nice. There we go. Actually, now that is a nice color. That is just, I'm, I'm picking it. I'm picking this one. I'm sorry. This, I'm sticking to this one. Nice color. Nice color. There we go. Hair done. <laughs> so there's a lot to mess around with. Uh, you gotta get creative with this. You gotta really like fiddle. And when we start randomizing, you'll see some cool styles that you can sort of uh, get some inspiration from. Next up, eyebrows. Boom, 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 boom. This is interesting uh, because I think this works slightly differently from the male ones. Not very differently, but slightly differently. And, and let me just say that this is also changing your face's sort of mood a little bit. The emotion being portrayed. Yeah. More confident, more assertive, dominant maybe even, uh, certain of themselves. This one, slightly more sheepish, unsure, maybe a little curious as well. I'm going with that, I'm going with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps a little bit of pleading in their eyes as well, you know, it's just kind of cool, I like it. <laughs> Don't go too long on this, by the way. They are getting dangerously close to touching. Eyebrows, okay, so eyes. Here's another interesting part. Uh, they sort of give you a lot of free reign of what you want to do here. And once again, the colors, the three different colors that you can go and buy in here, the three different colors you can throw together to make something, are, they're a pretty big deal. Yeah, they're a pretty big deal. I made the pupil size bigger so you can see these quickly. So you got a circle, a star, another circle. You got the, the slit for the snake eye, I think. Uh, this thing, uh, there's three different shades there to, to throw in, which is kind of nice. You got the little dot and you got the heart. Let's take this one because I think this gives you a good look at how the, the colors work here. So we're busy changing the, the outer circle right now. Let's make this, let's go with the blue tones again. Like we're busy with that right now. Let's make it like the lighter blue tone, right? Uh, maybe a little bit on that side. Then let's change this one. This seems to be the bottom. Let's go for a darker blue there. Okay, that's the bottom part there. Then we've got the pupil color, which is the middle. We're going to go for... That is really freaky. Okay. I mean, that is incredibly freaky. <laughs> there's, there's some interesting stuff you can do here. 
Uh, I wanted to go for like a white. Maybe we'll go for like a white. No, but it doesn't go white. It stays gray. Let's take a blue. And now I'm going to change between these others quickly and see what they look like. Oh, that actually looks better. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is sick. Whoa. Are there dots in the eye? That's cool. Or is that just like dirt on my screen or something? I don't know. It's hard to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that. It looks like the eye has sprinkles in it. Can I change the sprinkles to like pink? Can I make them pinkles? I think it's this one. Oh my god, that is actually really nice. Look at that. I'm filling it up. It's half full with pink. Super, dude. Super. Okay. Anyway, here the settings are. Eye size. Oof, you can go really big. Or you can make it like look a little awkward. Like little pig eyes. Oh, add a little, like, uh, sultry charm to their character. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh. The height, we're not going to change that. Distance, no, no, no. That's one of those leave alone settings. Don't touch, like, ever. Width, sure. I mean, no, but, like, sure. Wow. <laughs> Goes from, like, magical princess to, like, completely strung out. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, back there. Back there. Pupil height. And that's it. We'll, we'll take this. We'll take this. This is fine. Okay, so eye options. Yeah. I'd say those are pretty eye-opening. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So, the ears can't really see that. Not much here. Nose. The nose is, is decent. Uh, from the male side of things, I'm pretty certain it's going to be the same. This is the size that's the most impactful of all these sliders. Makes a difference. Let's go for a teeny weeny little nose. Bridge depth. Bridge width. Need to watch from here. Make it a wider bridge. Looks kind of nice. Nose width. That's the, that's the bridge top part there. And then nose length. That's the length of the nose. Much as the name states. Mouth. I want to see if there's a little bit more thickness on... Yeah, dude. What? The dude's got screwed a little bit. Come on, man. Come on. That's a stereotype we can drop. Guys don't all have thin lips like that. These are nice, luscious lips. Give them to my... This is how the guy's lips looked. Okay. So, wait. Do we not get to change the lipstick color? Doesn't look like it. No facial hair. Aww. No facial hair on females. Based on my V Rising video, I think that'll make a lot of people happy, but hey, whatever, man. Alright, color. Let's take pink for the tattoos. You can change it to anything you want. Once again, keep in mind, it can, like, really mess with or really, you know, enhance. Oh, you can be the boy that lived! There it is! What the hell? It's it's on the... There it is, the Harry Potter... Okay, we, let's take the bangs off quickly. That is there! You see... How did I not see that? Wait, maybe it wasn't on the mail. No, it must have been. It must have been. Nah, I'm just a fool. I'm so sorry. I apologize. People are probably shouting. Don't leave any hate comments, please. Don't rage at me for that. I'm a little blind sometimes. These are nice. Actually, go ahead and leave a hate comment if you'd like. Just be angry. You deserve it. I deserve it too. I would like if there was one slider to just change the size and or intensity of of the of the choices here you know you know i'd like i'd like that eyeshadow i'm again going for the same colors that i've got on the face just so that we can see the the sort of the nature of things i'm making a light blue and let's say a pink there we go okay so it's around the eye again there you go blue on this side pink on that side blue pink yeah on both I don't know, man. It feels like a toddler did their makeup. Because once again, you can't set the opacity. So it's not the most... That looks kind of nice. It's sort of subtle. But like this, like these ones are a little bit much, you know? But I, I think that mostly this it looks a little weird because I made her <laughs> eyes look way too big. So it's, this is, it's, it's on me, guys. It's not on the character creator. Just know that if it's looking weird right now, it's on me. It's on me. Okay? Okay. 
Okay. Is this a little different than the male's ones? I feel like it might be a little different. But only a, only a little. It's got the two colors. No, no, it's the same. It's the same. It's exactly the same. What are these anyway? There must be some significance here. I don't know what it is though. Ah, lipstick, dude! Hell yes, we can change the lipstick. It's down here at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah. This is the, this is the, can I tell you what this is? It's the, I let my three-year-old do my makeup lips. That's, <laughs> that's this one. I love it. I love it. I love it. This one here. I know this look very well. Okay, I've got a three-year-old. Honestly, those first ones, that's just the best. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like the heart as well. Okay, so once again, use your imagination with the color. You can do anything you want there. It is time to randomize. Wow, dude, that is so cool. I really like that. Huh. Yeah, man. They're delivering with a female customization. Again, I'm a little disappointed that when you randomize, it doesn't pick anything on the skin colors. Like, like you get in basically just these choices here and nothing else. Which is a little bit of a bummer because it could have been so much more unique. But, eh, you know. It could have been so much more unique. But, like, this is good enough, yeah? This is good enough. It's still giving us a whole lot with all the other stuff. And I mean, if you want to, you can sort of take one of these and then go and look like a rabbit for a second there. You can go and uh, sort of switch this the skin color around all on its own, just the skin color. You can definitely do that. There's no reason not to. Yeah, man. Like, some of these look fantastic. You know, my biggest focal point here has been the eyes. I'm just staring at the eyes. I'm, like, mesmerized by how cool they make these eyes look. Like, how... how look at that. Look at that. All the different colors in the eyes. How am I so boring? Wow. Look at that. Look at these eyes. Every single one of these has, like, this... this look at that. It's like a volcano in her eyes. I love it. Okay. But, yeah, that's it. Guys. It's the My Time at Sandrock character creation system. You've seen it. You've seen it in action. You've seen what it's capable of. Now I'd like to hear from you guys what you think. Yay or nay? I'm honestly a big fan. I think they've done some really cool stuff. They've taken a simplistic style. A style that has been honed to a point where it just looks fantastic. Perfect. And they've given you a lot of control. Basically over how you're going to use that style. How you're going to put it to use in making your character. They've given you a lot of tools here, but they've not given you too much to make it sort of overwhelming. I think it's a it's a decent sized character creation system. I think that they didn't go overboard with anything. And I also think that at some point they're probably going to add more stuff to it because this is just early access. So yeah, there you go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You can find a link to my time at Sandrock below if you'd like to check it out. You can also find all my links below. I just realized there's a necklace hanging in mid air over there. My links include my Twitch channel, Twitter, Discord, all the other stuff that you'd like to find. And I'm going to say thanks. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the character creation system, of the game itself. If you've played it, I haven't played it yet. Uh, I'm still going to jump in at some point and give it a try. But yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you once again for being here. Happy that.